We'll see how he can do right now with this Pikachu. Yeah, and of course, this is the matchup I completely expected. Pikachu versus Fox. Uh, now, Z is actually, Fox. or at least uh, before, he has the tendency to be one of the players that is able to switch between aggro and defensive right. fairly well. But I'm not sure how he's going to play against Eon. I mean, with Eon being so explosive, I feel like he's just going to want to explode back in Eon's face. Yeah, that's very fair. Wait, whoa. Pause. Okay, moving on. Anyway, we got Eon coming up right against Z. Pokemon Stadium 2. This is giving Pikachu the advantage already. Oh, yeah, home field. Look at all the crowd in the back that's been popping off for Pikachu. <laughs> oh, my God. They're kind of scary. <laughs> Zombies back there. All right, I like these tilts that you see Pikachu using uh, just to get some low hits in there and not overcommit to anything. Because right there, he got punished, but only took 17. I mean, this is what I'm really expecting. You know, spacing out with Thunder Girls until uh, Eon decides to commit and then just playing the aggro game against Eon. Great. You saw right there, there's the advantage that Pikachu has over Pikachu with a quick attack actually putting out some damage. Able to escape with it, recover with it, and attack. And using the Skull Bash to escape uh, Ooh, any of sort of any fishing with uh, up airs. Yeah, kind of a sketchy choice though, but luckily for him, when he upbeat onto the stage, Eon did not catch him. Right now, kind of working him back and forth here. Ooh, nice he, reflect. Yeah, using the shine. I mean, that's a move that we rarely get to see right. come out from the boxes. Ooh, he's using it so well. It actually knocks uh, Peach 2 out of that board air right there. Okay. Yeah. Using there, looking like for ah. an easy conversion. Right. Especially with like a Z at 122%. He's looking for uh, Nair and Up Smash. Well, oh who my needs Nair? Who needs Nair? You mean Up Smash, right? That's what I meant. You're yeah. right. You're right. You're right. It was cool, too, to see earlier that he tried to run up and get that Up Smash, but he knew he only had a limited amount of time, so he decided to not space it and just time it. Oh, but Brown calling down the Thunder, catching the Illusion, and going to punish uh, all the recovery with an Up Smash. And another Up Smash coming out from Eon. Oh, and I thought he was going to give him right there with that Reflect, man. That is very scary. If you feel like you can't use something that you love, th that's just horrifying. Uh, especially if it's like one of your go-to options. Yeah, that leads into most of your combos and puts your opponent at disadvantage. It stops them from jumping, but uh, Eon's just like, I'll reflect it. What are you going to do now? That's right. Jumping on top of Z. And now Z being able to escape the ledge. Another Nair coming out from Eon. He's looking for the back air. Oh, gosh. There's a dash check right here. Oh, okay. Good on Pikachu. Cover himself with that down air landing. Having a bit of trouble getting a hit on Eon here. Okay, that'll be a punish for the down smash. A little bit too risky. Excellent. Even though, even though it was a cross stage, that thunder was enough. Yeah, definitely. It better be at that high percent, man. All right, good back air right here. Going to keep Pikachu off stage a little bit longer. Oh, not opting to go off stage and try and finish off the, the Skull Bash from Pikachu. Yeah, and I respect it. When you have a recovery like boxes where sometimes you have to go directly up and you know you can get spiked with the down air, it's not always worth to go off stage. That's right. Okay, using landing on the platform. Ooh, good platform. spacing. Yeah, smart. What's the setup here? Well, Perry trying to get some kind of follow up, but Pikachu gonna roll safely past him. Okay. Good punishment. All right. Good. Good shield pressure. He trying to get another one of those just up smash. Come on, man. <laughs> Come on, man. I mean, that that'll only work so many times. It's gonna work again a lot. Oh, you think so? I think so. All right. Well, it, it might be coming up. I mean, we do we see uh, up smash percent on Z. Yeah, and you see him doing a lot of empty hops. It's clear that, okay, he's going to set up into the grab. Never mind. I was going to say he might go for something risky here, but instead just going to bait him out with that tomahawk, uh, the short hop. Oh, and there it is. He's there looking is. for the quick attacks from Pikachu. Yeah, that one wasn't even like a randy option. He knew that he had a punish opportunity and took it. Yeah, with the amount of times that he's been getting legs out that ledge, for, for him to recover hops from the ledge is, is completely understandable. That's why Eon was looking for it. Ooh, that's Hill, man. And right into the combo right now. Racking up 63%. Oh. Just gonna roll away, smart. Yeah, good tech. Or else he would have been, uh, he would have been in much more danger. All right, just gonna get one laser in there, a little bit of extra damage. Just gonna jump there too and stop him from recovering the way he wanted to. Down tilt, but up smash is the option <gasps> from Eon, but the cross up back air does connect onto Z. I cannot believe that he just quick attack right in front of him like that. Seeing this much aggression swinging out, and there's another up smash for you. The hardest of reads that Eon or that Z was going to try and. Uh, quick attack over him. Right. Eon was already there. This is what I'm talking about. Like, I'm surprised that he's going for these risky options right in front of Eon. Because not only can he read you, not only can he react, he's so fast, man. He's going to get there for the punish. That's right. Fox still ridiculously fast here in this game. Yeah, it's like even if he didn't know what you're going to do, he, he's going to punish it. So. Yeah, yeah. But it does seem like, yeah, he had the read on that for sure. And especially like when you're Pikachu, you have like a, a segmented um, area in which you're going to recover. Yeah. So he, as long as Eon keeps in, front, in mind that, that frame of distance, he's going to have a, a lot of coverage. Yeah, yeah. You're not wrong. All right, so going into game two, going to do the song counter pick. Little jokes <laughs> in here. Ha ha, hee hee. But seriously, we're trying to win. <laughs> All right, we're going to go Fox. 
Pikachu. No switches around. I definitely respect it. I'd like this. Oh? Oh? No, 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 no. Eon, no! He doesn't need to make the switch, so it's interesting that he's opting to go for it. I feel like the way that he was using those shines in this matchup was really throwing Z off. So if I was him, definitely would stay, but obviously Eon, you know, he's the one that's sitting on stage right now. Oh, okay. Never okay. mind. That makes up. That makes up. <laughs> he heard me. He's like, she's right, she's right. <laughs> <laughs> Alright, so Pikachu Fox, here we go. Hey, of course, it's gonna be game two between Eon and Z. Eon playing so good in game one. Yeah, definitely very decisive in uh, Eon's favor in that last game. But it still looked like Z had his berries around him. He never got shook or anything like that. He's still trying to fight his way back into this game. Yeah, uh, Z has like nerves of steel. I've never seen this man actually get shook. Yeah, I think he just made a couple of mistakes, man. With quick attack right in front of Fox like that, not something you're gonna want to do again. Air into dash attack. It's such an easy and good conversion for four foxes. Oh, and I like that he's utilizing Nair to land now. Ooh, kind of maybe be oh. able to cover him from all these up airs, but. And that last up air connection, that would have been first stock gone for sure. Oh my able goodness. Able to bring up a shield and block that up smash. Barely in time. Okay, a great drag down fair right there, trying to stop him to get out of that illusion. See, uh, Eon fishing. Yeah, he's going for those empty hops, man. You don't know if he's going to land and grab you. You don't know if he's going to land and up smash you. Never mind, he's just going to up smash you. <laughs> we, we keep looking for Eon to convert into these up smashes, but that's that's too much work. <laughs> just do up smash. That's the thing. is like he's baiting him by doing the tomahawk jump and then going for a grab. So that way Pikachu will drop his shield. Oh, oh reverse the thunder. To reverse the fair. Uh, such a smart move from Eon. And now, of course, getting hit oh by a couple my of gosh, thunders. So many. But, but not, not the sweet one. spots. Not the sweet spots. Right. That's really what matters. All right, gonna throw him away. Try to get another thunder, but nah, they're just gonna stop on it and hold out this edge guard. Try on Eon though to escape with an illusion. But dash attack is so strong from Pikachu. Yeah, yeah, you see catch e that man. Yeah, that's right, catching him with the dash attack. But Eon sending the thunder jolt right back. Okay, and once again, there's that Nair. He's not gonna allow Eon to just jump in his face and do nothing. He's gotta choose an option or you're getting Nair. And oh, did you see him grab yeah. the ledge? I swear he almost killed himself. I saw him fall, go into free fall before he grabbed the ledge, and I was like, oh no. Big rip. <laughs> but he's still in this. Down by quite a bit of percent, but if he can make one of those quick combos happen, not yeah. over. I feel like he's just like one down tilt away from being able to bring up the percent. But you know what? Another up smash. That's like a day one Fox confirm, man. It doesn't matter how good or how bad you are with Fox, you're gonna land Nair to up smash all day. Okay, now we see Nair's with the dash attack. It's such a good conversion. And it doesn't put your opponent really far away, which is, it just allows you to continue to pressure right. them. And it's so low middle, too. Like, it's not dangerous, really, to go for something like that. Okay, do we got jab blocks? Oh, but instead of going uh, for an up smash, he tried to bring him down, but woo! does get caught by the thunder. Yes. Yeah. Uh-oh, uh-oh. Woo, he's lucky he did not read his option. He definitely could have caught him up. Trying to get that down smash in the opposite direction. Oh, the thunder connects with sending Eon in the opposite direction. That's such. That's so lucky for Eon. That, the read on that. He just knew he was going to try to jump up and do another aerial. Eon is definitely a player that...